Hello friends, in my this video I am going to discuss one interesting matrix based problem in MATLAB and the problem's name is most non-zero elements in row. What it says? It says basically see this is the problem statement given the matrix A return the index R of the row with the most non-zero elements assume there will be always exactly one row that matches this particular condition okay so what is that suppose our input matrix is this one sub row wise i am telling 1 2 0 0 0 then 0 0 5 0 0 then 2 7 0 0 0 then 0 6 9 3 3 now if you observe see in the first row there are two non-zero elements in the second row there is only one non-zero element in the third row there are two non-zero elements and in the fourth row there are four non-zero elements so maximum number of non-zero elements are present in the fourth row so output should be four so what algorithm we can follow for solving this particular problem very simple we will take two for loop one is outer for loop which will take care of row iteration and another one is inner for loop which will take care of the uh, column iteration and we will pick up each element of a particular row and we will uh, check whether that element uh, is uh, zero or not if it is zero we will increment one counter okay or in one variable so after each row iteration we will store that particular variable in a particular array and from that array we will try to understand what is the minimum number of zero present in a particular row and corresponding to that uh, that zero is belonging to which row that row we will print okay so see the problem uh, the code like this so function i am i have written you can implement in matlab and you can check so function r equal to fullest row a okay a is our input matrix then rc equal to size a okay because user is giving input we don't know what is the row or size so we have to calculate using this size command right which is inbuilt function in matlab then ac equal to one uh, empty matrix or empty array we have defined this ac will do what the ac will basically store the number of zeros in a particular row and b is equal to one empty uh, array again we have defined this will store basically this is basically mapping kind of thing like for b we will store the row number and corresponding to that row number what are the num total number of zeros present that we are going to store in ac so temp equal to zero the variable we are defining to calculate total number of zeros in the in a particular row so for i equal to one colon r for j equal to one colon c if a of ig equal to equal to zero that means that particular element is zero so what we will do is we'll increment our counter where the counter is temp so temp equal to 10 plus one end the if else end the uh, internal for and then ac equal to ac temp so basically we are storing the uh, total number of zeros in that particular row in the ac variable and then the corresponding row we are storing in the b variable which is basically array okay so b is equal to bi and then again we are defining temp equal to zero which can be used for the next iteration okay or, or for the next row and end this end is for the in outer for loop which is uh, this for loop for i equal to one colon r all right so as a result what will happen after execution of this particular part what will happen that in the uh, b variable uh, each row number will be stored and corresponding to each row what are the total number of zeros present that will be stored in the ac variable okay so basically i hope up to this you have understood then what we have done we will check what is the minimum number of uh, zeros present in a particular row so mean equal to ac of one g equal to r okay so we are basically uh, defining the g variable which will basically store the total number of rows then we are defining r equal to 1 okay you can define some other variable name also no issue in that then for i equal to 1 colon g or basically for i equal to 1 colon total number of rows where rows is given input as a matrix by user and then if mean greater than ac of i then max equal to ac of i okay so here uh, sorry here this will be if uh, here this will be actually mean is equal to ac of i sorry for this so if uh, for i equal to 1 colon g if mean greater than ac of i mean is equal to ac of i that means what we are doing we are basically uh, like updating our mean variable and r equal to b of i so at the end of the particular execution of this particular code what will happen in the r variable our 
that row will be stored which has minimum number of zeros okay so i hope you have understood this code this same code i am going to post in the comment section of my this video if you want you can check there this is all for my this video thank you for watching